in this video we're going to create a github repository create a new .NET, c sharp web api test it locally create an azure app service let the app service automatically create a github action and we're going to view our github action in github let's go first and foremost go to github.com create a new repository just give the repository a name we're going to name ours Mavijo e-commerce. We're going to leave it as public in case you want to view it. Create the repository. You can find the repository link in the description. Now that we're done creating our repository, we're just going to create a new folder on our Windows system. Now we're going to right click and open a terminal and we're going to create a new .NET C Sharp Web API. Using the .NET CLI, we're just going to type .NET new web API and then the name of our API. Now that should create our API for us, our API project. Now we're just going to go to the directory where the API is created. There's the list of our files for our project. <clears throat> Next, we're going to build our project. It's going to just restore all um, dependencies. Perfect. We have our .NET 7 um, API. Let's run it. Now that it's running, let's just navigate to the URL. Okay, we just need to append the controller's name there. For the endpoint there we go there's our api running smoothly now the next thing is to push our changes to github we're just going to copy the git url and then clone it we're going to create a temporary folder just so we clone it because we already have files type git clone and the url itself of the git repository Okay, let's just create a temporary folder clone into it perfect the easiest thing is just to cut the .git folder inside where you placed your project files perfect Okay, the next thing is to check the status of the files. Git status. There we go. Now we just want to omit the bin and the obj uh, folders using our git ignore. Let's just create a git ignore. In Windows, you have to type dot git ignore dot. So the last period is just to make sure that uh, we're accepting that we don't have a file name. Perfect. Let's edit it. Awesome. Let's add the bin folder and the obj folder. Save it. The status. Perfect. Now they are omitted. Let's stage the changes. Now let's commit the changes. Now that the changes are committed, let's push the changes to GitHub. Perfect, that's done. Let's go to GitHub and view the changes. Let's refresh. Perfect, here are our changes. Our API has been pushed. Let's go to the Actions tab. As you can see, there are no actions set up. So the next task is to go to portal.azure.com and create an app service. Just select the search text box and type in app services. Click on the app services link. Click on the create button. 
select your subscription and create or select a resource group of your choice give your application a name that's unique throughout all of Azure. We are going to publish code. So let's just leave it as code. Our runtime stack is .NET 7. So if you want to check the actual version of .NET, just go to your project folder and select your project file and edit it and you'll see the target framework there. That's the runtime stack. Just we're going to use the Linux operating system. Select a region close to your customer base. We're going to select an app service plan. That's where the resources will come from. That will be used in your app service. We're going to select the free pricing plan for now. So you don't incur charges. Go to the deployment tab. Because we've selected Linux, we cannot set up deployment while we're creating our app service. We're going to set that up later. Go to the networking tab. We don't need to do anything there. Under monitoring, we're just going to disable application insights. We don't need it for this demonstration. Go to tags and then review and create. Perfect. Everything looks good. Let's create our web app. The deployment should finish relatively quickly. Cool. Click on the go to resource button. In the overview pane on the left, you'll see that we have a fully qualified domain name assigned to our web app let's just browse to it now if it's taking too long to load as it is now our web app that is we can just scale it up it means there are probably no available free resources for us to use on the left hand pane scroll down until you see scale up click on it uh, let's just move to the basic B3 pricing plan. Click on the select button. There we go it has been updated and you see as you can see the third tab the app is already loaded perfect cool now let's just make sure that the app loads let's click on browse perfect now it has warmed up using the fully qualified domain name link also works so that's great what we're going to do now is set up a link to github so that we can auto deploy on pushes when we push our code to GitHub. Let's select our source control provider, which is GitHub in our case. Let's select our organization, Mavicho code, our repository, Mavicho e-commerce. You can type it in or um, select it using the drop down. Any would do. Perfect. We have only one branch, the main branch. Let's select it. Everything looks good. Um, what you can do is preview the file, which is the file that's used to create the GitHub action. As you can see, here are the details. We didn't have to do anything here. It just created it for us, which is superb. Cool. Let's save our changes.
our deployment has been set up let's view deployment logs as you can see the deployment is in progress what we're going to do now is view the progress in github now let's just click on actions again wonderful so azure has created a github action for us without us writing any yaml as you can see created two steps the build step and the deployment step the build step to build our web api code and the deployment step to actually deploy it to an azure app service as you can see the deployment has succeeded let's refresh Let's load our app again. As you can see, if we go to the root URL, we're not getting results. What we're going to do is go to the weather forecast endpoint. There we go. Wonderful. So the next thing that we're going to do is make some changes to our code. And after we've made some changes to our code, we want to see it reflect in the app service. This will happen because we've set it so that um, it can auto build on pushes. Let's just modify our summary a bit and prepend it with my visual software. Just going to use string interpolation there. Wonderful. Let's save it. I'm going to ninja it. I'm not going to even try to test it. We test in prod. Okay, cool. Let's stage our changes. Let's commit and push. Okay, you see, we cannot push because the app service has created a GitHub action and merged it with our own changes. We have to pull those changes first, then push our changes. Let's do that. Looks good. Let's go to GitHub again. Let's refresh the actions tab. Wonderful. As we can see, a new build has been triggered. Let's go to it. Still building. So it automatically triggered a build just on a push. So he built the project, published it, and packaged it. Now it's going to deploy it to our Azure app service. Awesome. It's done. Let's go to our app service. Now, if we go to the deployment center, we'll see that our deployment has succeeded. Wonderful. Now, let's go to our app service endpoint and refresh it. So, we were expecting the summary to be prepended with my virtual software. wonderful there we go we just pushed our changes and automatically it triggered a build and the build was deployed to azure and then our changes reflected immediately remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video